Please Hello me. everybody, welcome to the round of 40, round of 64 CCL playoffs number 45. Uh, we've got Andre and his chorfs versus Orky Pick and his dwarves. And in the booth with me is Dimmy G the champ. Hello. Hello. Hello Jim. Excited for this one. We've got last season's finalist versus Orky Pick. Yeah. Uh, in it. <laughs> Looks a bit more dynamic than the last uh, Chorf versus it Dwarf is. game. Yeah. We had. There's there's, uh, there's about 22 less stand firm players. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of stand firm players. To be fair. There's a bit more claw on this uh, team as well. Looks like there's no inducements at all. Yeah, the old bloaty strength ups. He yeah. hasn't got a 200k hobgoblin, has he? That's the thing. He hasn't, but he's got two rookie two rookie Chorfs. Is terrible, isn't it? Like you it's need those brave. guards, and uh, only a guard mighty and a guard and a claw mighty and a claw pom. Like it's a pretty, pretty lackluster chorf team, actually. I think. Meanwhile, Oki Pick has all of this guard and mighty blow and some stand firm, and looks pretty nice. He has got a claw pom though, which is uh, a massive difference from the last one. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, the the the. the Troll Slayer is pretty terrible with Dodge and Juggernaut. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'd go for that at all. I, I mean, some people wouldn't even have a Troll Slayer, would they? No, no Muppet, no, no inducements at all. Uh, but yeah, the, the Claw Pond might just take over the game, right? There's a chance. Yeah. And there's Claw. Because, like, the Claw Mighty was impactful in the last game uh, between Chorfs and Dwarves, and so. Yeah, cool. He rolled, he rolled two powers the whole game. <laughs> one of them was a cat, yeah. yeah. The other one didn't break armor. Yeah, I think like Claw Mighty is like, I mean, it can pop off, but Claw Palm is just horrendous. And in the greed re roll. Greed re roll. Yeah, especially when you greed it. Absolutely fine, to be fair. Yeah, especially in this match as well, right? Where like he's got Good a better DP. team. He's yeah. got a better team. He's got loads of guard. He's got loads of mighty blow. Maybe he should have been more aggressive on defense here, Orky Pig, because, like, he's not exerting any of it, is he? Like, if he based everybody up, or, like, you know, based as much as possible up, then he might have got mighty blow hits back. But, tough. Uh, it's tough. like, you don't want to just trade a blitz, do you? You know, like, the worst thing you can no. do is trade a mighty blow blitz for a claw bomb blitz. <laughs> he, like, he needs to get it so that they're, they're fighting and, and he can get more mighty blow hits. If you aren't in contact, what? If you aren't in contact, guard is just bloat. Yeah, and so is mighty blow, right? Like all of these skills, they might as well just be skillless, skillless dwarves right now. They're just standing, doing nothing. That's blown my mind, that has. Yeah, it did blow my mind when I saw somebody playing with halflings, and then I realised that like a halfling not in a tackle zone is the same as like a bloodthirster not in a tackle zone, isn't it? You know, it's just it's just taking up some space. Is it? <laughs> Well, it is, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Oki Pick is French. Yeah. He, uh, he was part of the CNA team, wasn't he? I think. Was he? I think. I don't know he anything plays... about CNA. Uh, Oki Pick, Oki Pick, um, the times I've seen him in Chalice has normally been on high elves. He's a big high elf player. Mm. I've not seen him on a bash team. I don't think I've ever seen him on anything other than high elves, to be fair. Hmm. Um, he played a lot of them. It's he's funny. pretty good. I think he's played some woodies as well. Well, this is a nice chain out, isn't it, to then get the claw bomb hit. Um, on the strength four. So you got white cabbage and sparkling water. And <laughs> um, pom. Yeah. On strength four, you've got to, haven't you? I mean, yeah, it's, it's just going to happen constantly, isn't it? Yeah, and then he moves his claw in to try and generate hits. Andre's solid as well, Andre's... Yeah, he is. Pretty good at the old BB. <laughs> That's a very, a very, very good point, a large stud. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yep, very good point. Hmm. 
Oh wow, Which the lone is standing up fouling the ball point. Uh, I mean, if, I think he's just had enough of it, right? Yeah, but I mean, it means he's getting claw mighted. But he did stop a claw pump hit for a turn. Yeah. <laughs> Try. Yes, good old Team America with Howdy Nick. Yeah, just very underdeveloped chore team. He's basically got a claw pommer and, and almost nothing else. Like, even the bulls that haven't got that much on them, have they? It's... Yeah, it's interesting really when Mighty Blow off right now. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I do like sparkling, yeah, I do like sparkling water and I do like white cabbage. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't like sparkling water at all. Yeah, I quite, I quite, yeah. I quite like that. Oh, they're not blue heads! Oh, terrible, terrible play for Andre. Oh, he's got one blue head. Only one blue head. That is that is not enough. Worst thing about his team is the lack of blue heads. You know Chris is a pro because he always has the blue heads. <laughs> Exactly, Elf. Yeah, pretty much GG. <laughs> Howdy, y'all! <laughs> you own a gun as well. Yeah. <laughs> you only like freedom, are you sure you're American? Surely you must love freedom. <laughs> And the runners are we on with I don't I don't mind hitting a hop out here. No, I it's quite nice as well, especially as it's one of the few guards. Oh, ultimate cheaters wants to get banned again, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to stop being a constant troll elf. That's what I want. Oh, is that elf, is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh. Did he create a new count so he wasn't bad? No, no, he created it ages ago, that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I would, uh, you know, I, I like help. I just wish he wasn't a relentless troll. <laughs> That's the thing, you know. Like if he only trolled sometimes, it would be. Uh... Oh, well, there you go. Huge removal. Get rid of the yeah. loner. I mean, it's a dwarf. It's still pretty good. So. I, know, I know. I know. They all, they all count. Don't they? Was it? Was it? You were saying that you hate wood elf linos, uh, loner linos, <coughs> earlier in the yeah. Dispel Tree game, yeah. Yeah. I mean, hate's a strong word, but some really, people really say how much they like them, and I just think that's weird because, you know, I think I don't want to have 11 players and also I want yeah. them to do things. Yeah, like when when it's like a loner reroll, it sucks. And it's always they're the one that needs to pick the ball up because everyone else is out of range. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like Miss Spell Tree today, right? She had to uh, throw to the loner. And like, okay, it was only a 2+, plus, but it was still a roll that had to be taken by a loner that was, like, pretty crucial. This is, uh, very offensive. Yeah, this is, uh, it's alright, isn't it? He's got a, he's got a wall. But, um, I, don't, I think he's giving up a bit too much space here. He is, yeah. Like, he, is. he just, he could be, like, holding them two squares up the field and he's just literally giving Andre free movement. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit extreme here. Also, he's not yeah. holding. He's not holding the flank with stand firm, is he? So it's even easier yeah. to like, push down. And he's like just to evade the claw palm here. He's like conceding a touchdown, basically. Well, no, more I mean, likely. To be fair, more likely. Yeah, to be fair, dwarves lack responsiveness, so it's it's not that bad to like to give up this field in front. But it it's also yeah, you don't want to do it, do you? Like at the end of the day, you don't want this going to overtime with. A claw bomb on the opposite team, do you? Because you, you're just gonna, you are gonna suffer attrition over time, right? Yeah. So if there's any way to stop a score and score yourself, it's probably his best chance of winning the game, I think. Yeah. Rather than go one-one and. Oh, the green! Oh, oh. 
<laughs> I take it all back. That last turn was absolute genius. And, uh... <laughs> Imagine if he had guard on his troll slayer instead of not guard. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, board down there was disappointing for him. He wanted to at least yeah. push him to hit the ball. That's really sad, yeah. He might mm. do the free plot. It's a three plus two. Dude. Yeah, three plus three plus he's, two. And he's failed so far. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Star. Like, <laughs> unless it's plus strength or block for some characters, it's real hard to argue against guard, isn't it? You know, there's, there's got to be a real big, there's got to be a really big uh, alternative to take to take not guard as a skill. Mm. Turn seven. Maybe you should try and get in range before dicking around here. <laughs> that was a bit iffy, wasn't it? Yeah. I think you should just move, like, move the ball here first, right? Do do these moves and then and then you can do your, your blitz and your GFI and everything, but get your guy into range first. You didn't need to do anything else to do that. Looks pretty good now though. I guess he could surf. And then Try and surf. Or he can do this dodge and fail. Yeah, that was uh, a bit of a weird one. So he could do a 1D. Which means he cancels this assist, but I mean, it's still going to be an uphill to do the surf anyway, so I don't really know. Oh, mate. Wow, there we go. So now it's a 2D into a 1D. No. Oh, he doesn't even push him there! What the fuck? Dude, you push him there and then you dodge and surf, don't you? How do you just blitz running. this guy? You pu push the guy oh, there no. and then dodge surf. What's going on here? Blitzing this guy does literally fucking nothing. <laughs> oh, well, oh. it's cast for his trouble. Man, imagine if he pushed him to there and then did the five plus and surfed him. This is still like a like a one D blitz, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. On stam firm. This isn't fantastic. It isn't. Oh, he's got break tackle, so he can break. He can break tackle oh, there to get two no. D. No, it's... Oh, what was the dodge there? Like three, three plus. Three plus. So it's pretty. It was pretty dodgy because he had to roll three plus then a fifty-five percent knockdown. And if he failed, he would have had a three-three-two. But that was that was pretty. Uh... Close to stopping the score. Yeah. yeah, that was actually pretty pretty decent effort with very few players. <laughs> Stores being hilarious. <laughs> Who said that stuff? Was it you? <laughs> and, and it's obviously wrong because he hasn't got piling on in there anywhere. Ah, uh, it was Sean. Fair enough. I mean, it is pretty good. I think blood, you c literally can't go wrong with block dodge guard, right? Like, literally any team in the game, if everyone on the team had block dodge guard, it would be a good team. <laughs> Like, it's pretty good. And his claw is like, fourth skill? Yeah. Fifth skill? Wow. Imagine playing Chaos and waiting until fifth skill to have claw. Well, yeah. That is the one that everyone says, Muppet, yes. <laughs>
That is the one that everyone says. Every time, every time I've ever said that, everyone's like, "Ah, team of Noblars." <laughs> Aha! Ah! Ah! Obviously, he does things different sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, obviously. Yeah. Yep. That is another great Shawneeism. We need the collected wisdom of Shawnee and Dio as like a novel. It'd be great, wouldn't it? Not making no, 3Ds I... here, I think that is unforgivably poor. 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 Very, very poor. It is, very, though, very isn't poor. it? Like, it proper is. Like, it genuinely is. There's there's just literally no need for this. With people uh, who are in Chalice, there's, like, there's no excuse for just being lazy to not make it 3D. They, they know they good. can make it 3D, and they're just not. Make this one 3D. Yeah, but... Okay, and he's got a reroll, but still, there's just there's just no excuse, no excuse at all. I'm kind of glad that the Jaws and the Dwarfs got each other around one. Yeah, yeah, it's it's opening up nicely for some some lucky person. <laughs> yeah, probably Rick. Probably Rick. <laughs> I mean, a team of block guard nobblers could be irritating as hell. It would be pretty annoying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would be. It could be an absolute disaster. But I mean, six block dodge guard uh, augers would be pretty annoying, wouldn't they? So. I thought that was the standard, but. Nah. Pro isn't People it? love their ogres, don't they? People <laughs> love their ogres. It's just weird, I don't see it. Pro ogres. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're not really like that. It's just, it's just weird, isn't it? It's just a weird thing to not make them three Ds. Like, it's really weird. It's really weird because you would assume everyone in the playoffs knows how assists work <laughs> and know that three dice is better than two, and know when all they're doing is hitting that you might as well make it three dice because three is more than two, and it's just, it's just weird to not do them. Like, obviously here. It's, there's a positional cost to making them three dice, so you don't necessarily make them three dice and stuff. But like, there it wasn't there, was there? It's just weird. Oof. Oof. Kickoff events have been pretty brutal today, haven't they? Yeah, they have, yeah. Shitty kickoff events. <laughs> yeah, they have been a bit shit, to be fair. I mean, the ones in Dio's game actually made it pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, you're a dwarf down, just because uh, the game decided you're going to be a dwarf down. Yep. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Deb. Yeah, there's, there's, there's like, the certain, there's, there is certain things as well like that, yeah. Which this was not going to happen. So he catches the kickoff, but he's down a man. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, the Blitz. Le Blitz. Because he's, he's French, isn't he? It's Le Blitz. Is it? Yeah, like Le Big Mac. The metric system. Yeah. <coughs> why did he... Why didn't he hit diagonal? Yeah. Yeah, and why is he not oh, following? Cause, Cause his plan was to do this, I guess. So Andre just basically has his whole team free for no real reason. Mm. I think he, he, I think he might actually just be giving too much respect to the core bomb, but it's hard, isn't it, when you've had a few guys just removed? Like it's... Yeah, and he's probably going to cast somebody here with a core bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Is he only he's moving three? Be... No. Why? He's just not going in. I don't, I, yeah, I guess you don't want to go in, do you? Like, you've got uh, this guy, and you don't want to go in needlessly. He hasn't got the guard, and he has got the guard on the mighty blow. Oh, just one claw pommel is literally running this game. Yep. 
It's disgusting, isn't it? It's so strong. Yeah, like, it's... Cool. It's so strong. Yeah, it really is. I think it's going to be a lot... Like, that's one of the reasons why I've been, you know, pretty hyped for Blood Bowl 3, even though... Yeah. Even though it's, unfortunately, Blood Bowl 3 looks terrible. Um, because, yeah, the new rules, getting rid of Clawpom is, is going to make for, you know, kind of fairer games, if you More like. balanced, yeah. But then you've got the sneaky git thing. Mm. Which is, uh... Fouling's just going to be the new pom, right? Yeah, but true. Not it quite has a, as harsh. Yeah, but it also has like a much higher risk profile than uh, pomming, really. Yes. Cause pomming, like you, you, the problem is is teams that foul you. Um, whereas fouling, the problem is you get sent off, obviously, isn't it? So. Yeah. Uh, but then you can argue the call as well, can't you? In uh, well, I mean, you should be able to argue the call initially. Yeah? Um, so that Kaz, Randall. Randall Kaz, brutal. Brilliant Kaz. Yeah. Does that part of it. No claw problem, no natty. Less harsh pick up events. Yeah, I, I, I actually like the perfect defense change. And I like. I like the blitz. The blitz. Like, I like the fact that you can only move X amount of players. But removing the rerolls from the blitz was a bit weird. Yeah. Like, you're not being able to use dodge and stuff. But, I mean, it's great for me because I play Bash. <laughs> and yeah. it's horrible for rats and stuff. But, uh, it's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. I mean, Penny, you're arguing the call was added in 1994. But, yes, they, they reintroduced it in 2016. But we haven't had 2016 because we've got Blood Bowl 2, right? So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's so annoying when someone argues the call and then just drops the six. It's probably stupid that like Blood Bowl Two came out in 2015, and then there was a new rules in 2016, isn't it? Like it's just like it was just instantly invalidated with a 10-year-old rule yeah. set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mordred. I think that was true for the rerolls as well, because apparently people who you know, have signed NDAs and haven't really respected them as much as maybe they should have done, <laughs> uh, have indicated that they didn't really think, they, they just play tested it as normal, where you only had one, you know, when you only could use one reroll per turn, and they were just as surprised to find out the result of the FAQ as everybody else. So, there you go. My favourite change was when they gave Amazon's four war dancers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could you imagine that? Um, that was fucking hilarious. That was hilarious. Jesus Christ. Oh, right, I think, yeah, Amazon's given four war dancers. <laughs> It'd be alright, wouldn't they? <laughs> it wouldn't be bad, yeah. <laughs> It's funny yeah, I mean we're... that. Sorry. No, go on. I wasn't going to say anything interesting. No, neither was I. When, when we had when we had that league where we had like you know ultra ultra CRP we called it where you were allowed any players on your rosters. Like every single person had a a gutter runner, at least one gutter runner, and at least one war dancer. <laughs> Just literally everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Dancers are pretty good <laughs> on any team. I mean, yeah, I think I think it's I think they probably are the best player in the game. Yeah, more so than gutter runners, just because they start with bludge. On a on a one to one basis, Amazons are definitely the best players in the game. Uh, well, Amazons war dancers are definitely the best players in the game. But when you take like. The positional slot, runners. yeah, that's the thing. Four gutter runners, you can argue. Like you can argue that not a four gutter runners is a better roster slot than not a two war dancers, right? You can argue. It's that. Close though. It is. Yeah. Right? yeah, it is. And then werewolves, obviously third, I guess. And then. Then all bulls are bulls are up there, aren't they? It, it then it starts coming in like the rest of your team and and stuff like that, doesn't it? So like. Yeah. It gets it gets harder because like. I mean, I think Woody Catchers are probably up there as well, to be fair. Yeah, they're pretty good, yeah. They're pretty good. Uh, Tell you what I do like is uh, the new Wraiths. Like, I've had a couple of games with them on Fumble in there. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's diamond. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, yeah, with, yeah, block sidestep is pretty strong. So they're almost good ball carriers. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Turn 13. Are the dwarves going to make any effort to score? That's the question. Oh, it's just a potato, isn't it? It's, it's, this is what we're setting up. Uh, just the plates of potato. I guess so. Gets the big knockdown. Could make a cast here. He's going to have to roll 100 PCs here. He is, yeah. And he has to power this guy, really. Oh, that did... No, I don't think he should have hit him, should he? He should have hit with a... He should have hit with a... With a... With a... Yeah, when he hit him, like, and he could have moved him up. I don't think he should have followed, because he could have gone... Well, I don't know. I thought he was going to greed a bit more space than he did, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oof. Oof. <laughs> it's Dio. Just line up and punch. Yeah, exactly. Saurus, you can have six. Saurus are really good. Like, Saurus are really good. They've changed the costume, though, haven't they? Um, Saurus. So, like, Lizardmen have got slightly weaker starting monsters. Yes. But you have to sacrifice a Saurus, I think. Uh, no, you just sacrifice a reroll. But you go for the one reroll start, yeah. yeah. Which is pretty terrifying in a team with no block. Yeah, it is. Not absolutely. In a game, sure. in a game where you can use multiple rerolls per turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got to save it for the one turn. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, it's interesting, like, that's the thing that a lot of these uh, Blood Bowl 2 guys who haven't played Pumble or, or Tabletop don't realise the starting rosters are pretty pretty interesting now. Like, Undeads, you can't get the the three goal start with the three rerolls. Like, you have to sacrifice the reroll. Yeah, well, um, the, the, fu the funniest thing is they, they got these changes in and then they just, like, kept it the way it was for tabletop. Like, NAF events are just it's always essentially the same because they've just given people more starting yeah, funds. So, like, why yeah. even bother? Like, it, it seems to have been brought in as a way to spice up tabletop and then it just hasn't because they're ignoring them for NAF. Like, it's really weird. But it is it's definitely more difficult to, like have a starting team yeah like the some of the teams are anyway not all of them but it's more interesting I, I think it's like it's interesting like, like I don't I like I think that's pretty cool that you don't start with all your positionals or like you suffer reroll loss or whatever mm. but then it does kind of make the thousand TV game more random which it already is pretty random to be fair mm. Like if you're playing against two equal skill players at a thousand TV, it's just going to be who has better dice than we want to. Yeah, and also there was an argument that they should have done this before, right? Because when, uh, like, set well, third ed, right, in 1994, you had to buy fan factor at the start of the at the start of the thing, and like starting with nine fa factor was what you wanted to do. And like living room yeah. four, starting with nine fan factor is what you wanted to do. You literally wanted to buy nine fan factor, and then they changed that in CRP. Which so that kind of gave every starting roster ninety more k to like buy the starting roster. So like that, that that is when it happened that people got more, and like tabletop was a bit was already like that a bit, you know, because obviously you don't need the fan factor in tabletop tournaments, but you needed it in leagues. So like that was always a bit of a weird thing. It's a TO on TT tournament organizer. Uh. I haven't heard of BB20. <laughs> oh, fair enough, Scott. Mate, they do banned star players in UKTC. They're just banned. <laughs> yeah. That's the easy thing to do, isn't it? When they've, when they've shaken yeah. up the meta by making something new and interesting, just ban it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we can't have change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can't have it. It's true though, isn't it? It really is true. Like it's amazing how resistant people are to change. I'm just gonna go there and play against six games of Dark Elves. I think. <laughs> I've nerfed Woody's too much. We'll just play Dark Elves. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Change is universally bad. It's yeah, it isn't my work anyway. Like every time I change something at work, my life gets worse. And then 
and then they tell me that I'm change negative, and I'm like, that's because every fucking change you've made has <laughs> been fucking negative. Like, and like, and then they try and label me as change negative. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> This is a. Uh... Again, I think Andre just gave him a bit too much space. So yeah, then... yeah. That, that, like from where he was, he shouldn't have been able yeah. to get that far with like a little, a, yeah, you know, little uh, procession for him. And, like this is no defense at all, is it? Just two D, two D, a really good player, and walk it in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's <a> solid. <laughs> solid defense. <laughs> <laughs> World Cup winning defending. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. Hello. <laughs> hello, Lemon. Oh, well, I shouldn't have said hello, then, should I? <laughs> I played some tourneys with unrestricted star access. Ah, oh, it's total weight. Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? That's just your opinion, Star? <laughs> It is though, isn't it? Like, you know, it's like, it's just, it's all, just is what it is, isn't it? I mean, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be restricted, but like, in general, people are, people are, like, in everything, people are resistant to change, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's true, yeah. Except COVID. <laughs> yeah. Where we completely changed our whole lives and no one complained about it, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, after a week, everyone was like, yeah, this is normal. Yeah. No, yeah. I know, yeah, that was a joke, so I was saying. Yeah, and yes, Griff, Griff, Griff is really good, and is available to play for a lot of teams. And How much really cheaper good. did they make Griff? They've, they've, since they've, they've made him more expensive since the first lot, haven't they? But it's not massively more expensive, is it? Yeah, I think he was 280, and I don't know what he is. It's the problem is, is I don't think they changed him. I don't. I think. I think they made Morg three forty, and then and then upped him to like a, a little bit more, and they made Hackfam really cheap as well, and like really really good. And they, they made I, all stars better and like mostly cheaper. They made Eldril even more expensive, but Eldril got to do uh, Hypno Gazes on a two plus and re-roll it once per match, which is kind of insane. Oh, they didn't change Griff. That was it. That was yeah, right. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so they. Yeah, which is. But, like the fact they give dwarves to, they give Griff to dwarves is just bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> and like uh, ogres, and Eliod won, Eliod won that Royal Rookie Rumble with one ogre because <laughs> <laughs> he stacked the wall so he could get Morgan before Griff or whatever it was. <laughs> Absolute joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Story. Yeah. It's fair enough, isn't it? All right. Oh well. Andre won the coin toss for overtime, and he's got like three rerolls to one, so he's got the uh, he's got the equity, and he's probably got the it's close teams, isn't it? Four, ten. He's got one man up. I guess he's got the better team, and he he's also got the claw claw mate. He's hasn't he, which can which can yeah, turn it more just, his way. He could just remove two dwarfs on this LOS so that it's. Uh... Suddenly looks horrendous, doesn't it? No, you definitely don't want to turtle. I mean, you can turtle if it goes wrong. That, like, that's the thing, isn't it? You've got the flexibility of turtling if it goes wrong, but you're still going to want to push down and score. Are we going to see another random kickoff event? That, uh... mm. The grandfathering was so weird. Like, I, I kind of hated that about Nav. How you had like how they had. Zara and Kara, or Clara, whatever it is. Clara, Clara and Zara, when they should have only had one, shouldn't they? Like, that was proper stupid. Proper stupid. <laughs> is she the, she's the, the one in Blood Bowl 20, uh, Blood Bowl 3, isn't she, Clara? Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, so like Games Workshop like got rid of, got rid of Zara and replaced Zara with Clara. But then NAF just allowed people to use both, which was like never the idea, so it was just weird. Because you know you had better than what it should be, and like they, they got rid of Setek and got e Ivan Death Shroud. Got rid of got rid of uh, Setek and made it Ivan Death Shroud, and then so people could have Setek and Ivan Death Shroud. Now obviously those two are pretty shit, so it doesn't really matter. 
But um, yeah, Carla and Zara were both really good. Cheeky. Touch back. Does he give it to a bull or does he keep it on the carrier? He keeps it on the carrier. Yeah, I guess with Ajis. Yeah, Ajis is pretty good. Cool. There's an argument for for like the mighty blow bull getting it, isn't there? And then just using the the other bull to fight. But I mean, you do want to use both bulls to fight if you can. Doesn't pom? Yeah. Well, it was a kill. <laughs> pom anyway. <laughs> Rick would 100 percent pom that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky three dice. Oh, hey. Okay. Going his class there. Yeah, fuck slam, seriously. Really? Oh, just because yeah. you're uh, playing against them? I, no, I just don't like them. I never liked them. And, uh, Mate, it was quite funny, like, when uh, Troxbird's eight game kids, their team nearly gave. Like, if he didn't waste his wizards, he would have given Davo a real run for his money. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? It was, uh, and that was the one he took the dwarfs to. Was it the semi final or something like that? I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah semi final. We lost to Mega Bonobo, who won it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Trox. That's hilarious. Andy Davo drawing an eight game kiss they've seen around one of Charlie's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's wow. all our own fault. Wow. Hey, Dev, that is. I think that is. That is wrong. Because I think full TV plus is is unequivocally the worst Blood Bowl idea ever ever had. Or you go down the push down. Blood Bowl 2 idea. Yeah, of course it does. Bombs it. Voodoo Bombs Mike's TV plus, full TV plus is, is definitely the worst thing. Oh, I thought Dode was the TV plus guy. No, no. It, it, what's he called? Voodoo Mike thought of full TV plus, which is like the worst thing ever. Just definitely the worst thing ever. Um... And then, but and then Dord championed partial TV plus. Um, I don't know if he what he thought of full TV plus, but he championed partial TV plus for the uh, for the ladder matchmaking. Does Dord even play Blood Bowl anymore? Uh, no, I don't think he ever did. But it have you said Pogo Stick Slan might be the worst idea BB ever had? And so while TV++ never actually became re fucking Ooh. reality, that's true. Uh, Still the worst idea anyone ever had. <laughs> Double key! <laughs> just done. Yeah, he did, he did play a little bit, Dodd, yeah. He was in OFL yeah. as well. This is over. You can still see me kicking his ass on YouTube. <laughs> is, was he any good, Dodd? No, he was terrible. Was he? Yeah. Like most people who make decisions in Bubble, I guess. Yeah. Like that he had a claw pommer. not true. He had a, or, the hater does did not he have a claw pommer? I think assertion. he had a claw pommer and just like blitz with a, you know, block mighty and stuff. Things like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a fool. What an absolute fool. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good point. Blood Bowl three. <laughs> All of the design decisions of Blood Bowl three. Yeah, they're they're, they're pretty they're pretty bad. Yeah, let's just grab all these skill icons and make <laughs> random drawings with a completely different color, pa color pattern that makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's not true, try. <laughs> oh, thanks, Saturday. I might, I might give myself, I might give that a watch myself just for a trip down memory lane. There's some special gym time here. Um, I don't know if Kano was, and I don't know if Dord did, and then got shut down by Cyanide. Like Dord might have wanted full TV plus, but but at least you know he didn't make it happen, so that's good. So why did Dord have so much say in what happened in Blood Bowl? 
Because I guess uh, you know he offered to work for free, and Cyanide were like, "Oh, that's good." Yeah, didn't Anorian <laughs> like help out with uh, Blood Bowl as well or something? Yeah, but I, I believe I believe Cyanide got paid. I mean, uh, Cyanide. I believe Anorian got paid. Do, he he might want to divulge it or he might not. But uh, I I think I think Inarian was more like he went there and did a job. You know, like he worked for them properly. Uh, Whereas I think Dord's more just like being a super helpful guy, doing loads of work for free. So they were like, "Ooh, this is good." And why wouldn't you like, do, you know, like that? You know. So do you think that's why uh, war dancers have hit a mighty blow? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, there you go. He took all the space there. Uh, sorry for the lack of commentary, but it's pretty boring, isn't it? He's, he's it's you know, over. He's, yeah. It's yeah, he's over. made removals. He's completely out of position. It's just done. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we did want to get this one out of the way. To be fair. Yeah. Just get it done. So TV plus matching is uh, matchmaking doesn't consider your team, just your TVs, but your win rate too. Um, it, it counts. It does your wins minus losses times by 50, right? And then adds that onto your TV, but only for TV, only for matching, right? Um, full TV plus or TV plus plus as some people will do it. That was the the that adds to your TV properly, like that just properly adds to your TV. Um, so if you had won, you know, if I played a game and won two games, and if Artemis played two games and lost two games, and I well, if, if Artemis had played one game and lost it, and I had played two games and won them both, Artemis would get a wizard against me, <laughs> which means he would definitely win. <laughs> and, and now. Now I would have won two and lost one, and he would have won one and lost one, and it was the worst idea anybody ever had. Yes, there was also multiple wizards, which I thought was fine, because that would just hardly ever happen, to be fair. I think the multiple wizards was the least bad part of, of uh, Full TV Plus. Which is... which is... <laughs> which is saying something, when multiple wizards is the least bad part of something. There you go. Well, they got the wizard stadium for a bit, didn't they? Yeah. Art's got a lot of work to do. Um. <laughs> I just said Art. I don't care. Could have been anybody. Point is, if Art's playing me and he's got a wizard, he's just definitely going to fucking win, isn't he? That, it could have been anybody good. I just picked someone good because it's just stupid. Because, like, if you play anybody who's got a clue and you're a tiny little bit apart in wins, they're just guaranteed to beat you. <laughs> like, it's really fucking stupid, isn't it? The BM Claw. I guess this, uh... Oh, he's already MVP, ready? He's gonna hand off to a chorf. Oh, he is, isn't he? I guess that's the right thing to do. Yeah, to yeah, I guess it is. He's so far ahead. This guy's not doing much as a lucky pick, is he? Doesn't put any yeah. pressure on him, so he might as well. Oh no! He's not oh, no. Bottled it. You just couldn't. You just couldn't go ten and all with that, that system. You just literally couldn't go ten and all. Right? I, well, I don't think you could. I don't think you could actually go ten and all with with TV plus plus because you'd just be down to you'd be up to, you'd be up too much TV with not real TV. You'd have too much bloat. Like, how do you win games with five hundred TV of bloat? Like, I just don't see how you do. So, so I think it'd be very rare for people to get to ten and all. Uh, I mean, maybe you know whatever it would be, but it, it was just terrible. It was it was absolutely terrible. But anyway, there you go. Congrats, Andre. Commiserations, Oki Pick. Um, 27 AV breaks to 10 in the end. Not that many CAS though, really, were there? Only three CAS no. sustained from 27 AV breaks. You compare that to old Tom Schnees versus... Uh... <laughs> Six hour nine. <laughs> Chamber. Yeah, brutal. One in, one in nine is, is more realistic, isn't it? Because... Uh, what should it be? It should be one in six, shouldn't it? it, should should, it? Yeah, it should be more. Yeah. yeah, it should be one in six. But then there's like... Pylon changes it a little bit, and obviously Mighty Blow and stuff change it a little bit. But um, Piling on shouldn't change it, but it does in the way that they track armor breaks. Um, so there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Dimmy, for the for the core commentary. Even though I don't think either of us commented on the match at all in that one, but thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> no, problem. no problem. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.